my name is Sarah and I am learning all about gardening at Jani Dong's uh, greenhouse in Old Alberta. So today I'm helping plant cauliflower and he has set up his hoop house and these are the first things going in in the hoop house. And so what we're doing is we're using this transplanter machine and it's really easy to plant the seedlings. So let me show you what you do. The soil is really soft and so with this it's quite easy to just push into the ground and you grab one of his seedlings, throw it down in the middle and release. So the spacing that we're aiming for here is about 40 centimeters, kind of 30 is the minimum. And so at this point, we're just eyeballing it, um, trying to maximize the space that we have. Um, along the drip tape here. So there's a few tips that I learned today that I wanted to pass along for anyone out there who also is learning all about the wonders of farming. So these seedlings came from his passive greenhouse that he has. So his website will link below, but he's got this massive passive greenhouse and it's a lot hotter overnight because he has um, double poly and insulating blankets and a heat sink wall. Um, and so it's a lot warmer and so just um, I think he said it was yesterday, he took his seedlings out of his greenhouse and put them in the hoop house. And they weren't covered overnight, and so some of them got damaged. So these ones are looking quite healthy, but let me show you what some of the damaged ones look like. Okay, so there are a few things that Jani has pointed out to me. So one of them is that here we have the seedlings here. These ones have gotten really dry. And so we're going to try to still use them. But a trick that we learned today was before planting them in the ground to dunk them in water and get them saturated and then plant them saturated. And so Johnny was saying that this will help to keep them alive. If you plant them dry, they'll dry quite or they'll die quite quickly because any water that's remaining in them will just go into the soil. Um, we're, it, it's being watered right now, but in general, the soil is quite dry. And so um, you wanna dunk them in water to start with to make sure that um, they, they have water when they're going in. Um, there's a few seedlings here that just are really weak. Um, and so we're not even gonna to transplant them. We're just gonna compost them. Um, here's another example of a, oops, well, it's quite weak. Um, and then some of them got cold overnight. Um, they didn't get kind of a that layer of poly overnight. Um, and they were moved from the, the greenhouse at the passive greenhouse that was really warm into here where it's not as warm overnight. So you can kind of see that it almost looks like it got frozen. Um, the, the ends are curling. They're a little bit darker green. Um, and you can almost feel like it's like soft and translucent like. Um, so what Gianni said is, you know, we're not really sure if these are going to live, but what you can see is if there is new leaf growth, we're going to be looking for the growth in the new leaves. So these ones might die, but if we continue to see growth um, in the new, new leaves that are starting, this is a pretty good one. Um, then there's hope for it to, to keep going. Um, the last thing that I learned is that these should have been transplanted a little while ago. Um, they're getting some yellow at the ends of uh, the, the bottom leaves are getting some yellow. Uh, the hoop house wasn't ready until just today. And so this was the earliest that they could have been transplanted, but if they were transplanted 
um, a little while ago while they're still a little bit smaller and the root the the leaves hadn't turned yellow that would have been ideal One thing you want to be looking for is how you're planting these and how deep you're planting these. So you can kind of look back here. See this one didn't quite make it in. Um, and there's there's two things is when the soil is really really soft this planter just goes <clears throat> in super easy and it can get planted quite deep. And so you don't want the middle of this to get planted. You want to make sure that um, the stem kind of at the base isn't covered up so right about there is where you want it so you want to make sure that depending on how hard your soil is um, you really compensate to make sure that you're not putting it too deep or too shallow which is easy to do with this um, transplanter um, as you kind of move through um, the soil the other thing is that you'll notice that we're planting and it's really dry um, and then we're watering it after it goes in and the reason for that is, is it's a lot easier to use this machine when it is dry. So when it gets really muddy, like if I plant it in here, just move this, if I do this. It gets, it gets all gunked up and then you're cleaning your tool every time. But if you're trying, if you're planting it in here, it just falls right off and you can just keep going. And so a good trick is plant dry and then water immediately afterward um, when you're finished planting. So that's it for today. I'm just learning along and trying to pick up the tips and tricks from Gianni. And so I'll post what I'm learning and when I'm out here and um, let me know if you guys have any tips of your own. Thanks for joining.